Today I'm gonna show you how can combine masking and speed ramping to create an amazing transition. Blending these two features masking and speed ramping can be a creative idea for making seamless transitions in Prima Pro. So are you interested in learning more about this transition? Then let's jump into Adobe Prima Pro. So we have two video clips on the timeline. In the first video a man are passing in front of the shop and in the second video a man is entering the shop. Firstly, we need to draw a mask to make the masking process easier. We need to duplicate this video layer, which we will delete after drawing the mask. Simply hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag this video down to create a duplicate. Now make sure the upper layer video is selected and then navigate to the effect controls to select the pen tool under opacity. Sometimes it is important to adjust the zoom level of the program monitor to ease the masking process. In this case, I'll set it to 25% as I need to apply masking to the entire video. Now let's start drawing the mask from the left side of the monitor, extending it to cover the first man in the video. The masking for this frame is now complete. To confirm it, we can add a keyframe by clicking on the mask path. It seems the masking is missing on the program monitor. Let's activate by selecting mask 1. To complete the masking for the remaining frames, we need to move on or a couple of frames to the right, depending on the movement in the video, and adjust the position of the masks accordingly. If necessary, we can also modify the masking points. This way, you can complete the rest of the mask adjustment. In Prima Pro or After Effects, whenever changes are made, a new keyframe is automatically generated for the frame where the change was applied. Well, now we have successfully completed the masking for this portion of the video. We can check it by moving the time indicator and making adjustments if needed. Now, let's complete the remaining task. Firstly, we need to navigate to the first keyframe of the max path. To do this, click on the left or right arrow icon of the max path. As a result, the time indicator will be positioned at the first keyframe of the mask. Now, we can use the back arrow icon to step on frame to the left and modify the masked position based on the video, just as we did previously. Our masking is now complete and you can see it right now. Everything appears to be in order. So now we can proceed to delete the duplicate video layer. Let's preview the animated mask once again. You may notice that the edge of the mask appears a bit sharp and requires a softer appearance. The solution lies in adjusting the mask feather. You can modify it to suit your footage. In my case, I would like to set it approximately 32. And finally, it's time to adjust the program monitor level. Now that our masking is complete, I'll show you the transition. Simply place the second video underneath the first video on the timeline. Move the time indicator to the first keyframe of the mask path and adjust the placement of the second video to align with the first keyframe. Now we can see that our masking transition is ready. However, I would like to make it better slightly by applying speed ramping, which will make the transition even smoother and more interesting. To increase the vertical size of the timeline track, position the mouse cursor over the track exactly here and hold down the Alter key. Then scroll the mouse wheel up to enlarge the track. You can apply the same method to the first track as well. Similarly, increase the horizontal size of the track, keep the mouse cursor positioned on the track and use the mouse wheel to increase it. Now right click on the FX icon and select time remapping, then choose speed. To add a point, hit the P key to active the pen tool. Click here to add a point, press the V key to switch back to the selection tool. Click and drag this point to the left or right to separate them. This way we are creating space for a ramp. This line represents 100% speed but we need to increase it by dragging it upwards. In my case, I'll increase it to 400%. Now we can drag this right point to the right to create a smoother ramp. Simply drag this handlebar to the right. Let's play the video to see the impact of the speed ramp. You can also make slight adjustment to the speed ramp as needed. Now it's time to work on the second video. Right click on the second footage, scroll down and select show clip keyframes. Then choose time remapping and click on speed. This technique also allows us to apply speed to the footage. Now select the pen tool and set a point in the center of the video as this video in slow motion and we need more frames for speed ramp. After that switch the selection tool and separate the point for the speed ramp. 
drag the left side of the line upwards to increase its speed. In my case, I'll set it to more than 600% for a more impactful effect. Adjust the two points according to the positions of the upper layer video points. This time we need to drag this handlebar to the left. Now let's observe the final transition. We can make speed adjustments and fine tune other settings for better transition. So this is very basic and cool idea for creating awesome transitions using two different techniques. I think this transition tutorial in Prima Pro can help you enhance your cinematic video transitions. You can find many other creative tutorials on this channel. I hope to see you in the next one.